we're gonna make a project called Volcano. It's one of our best ones. There are some instructions and materials I brought from the library. This project, you need some ingredients. The first ingredient, you'll need one cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of salt, water bottle and water. You also need two tablespoons of baking soda, five drops of food coloring. If you don't have it, that's fine. You could just use watercolor. You also need a half tablespoon of dish soap, But not least, you need one tablespoon of vinegar. Or one tablespoon of vinegar. Step one, in a bowl, mix together the flour and salt, slowly adding water in until a smooth dough forms. Two, mold the dough around the empty water bottle into a volcanic shape. Allow to air dry overnight. Wait, you don't need to wait overnight to let the dough dry. You could just use green Play-Doh to make the mountain look like a mountain, forest mountain. Step three. To make your volcano erupt, mix together four tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of baking soda, food coloring, and one tablespoon of dish soap. Pour into your volcano, add two tablespoons of vinegar to see it erupt. Step three, to make your volcano erupt, mix together four tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of baking soda, food coloring, and one tablespoon of dish soap. Pour into your volcano, add two tablespoons of vinegar to see it erupt. <laughs> Yay! Hooray, it's pink! It's a pink volcano! <laughs> we can see it over and over again. Step four. To see your old volcano erupt again, add an additional two tablespoons of vinegar. You want to do it again? Yes. It's already erupt. This is our whole project of the volcano. Hooray, we did it! This is the biggest thing we've ever done. If you can if you want to do it again, you could just follow my steps and I hope you make it at home. See you next time. Bye. You want to do it again? Yes. It's already erupted.